guys, welcome back to DCTC. On today's episode, I am gonna show you how to make this adorable Christmas tree ornament. To make this ornament, you will need small toys, fake snow, glue and a paintbrush, clothespins, tiny little decorations, plastic ornaments, and a hot glue gun. The ornaments that we're gonna be using for this craft are actually the ornaments that the little Shopkins came in. So these are perfect because they are plastic and they break apart in half. The first thing that you need to do is have an adult help you attach the clothespin to the bottom of the ornament using the hot glue gun. The next step, after they've dried, so this is how they look, this is how you'll attach them to the tree. So after they have dried, which just takes a few minutes, you're gonna take some of the glue and gently rub over the holes that are in the bottom of the ornament. Just like that. You could also use, you could take some cotton or there are these little round cotton things that you can buy to remove nail polish or makeup. You could also put one of those in the bottom, but I'm just going to use glue and I'm just doing that to fill in the holes so when we add our snow, it doesn't go falling out the bottom. <laughs> Next, we're gonna take more glue and swirl it around and then take a little brush and just rub that, just a nice light coat all over the inside of the ornament. Then, something really fun. <laughs> I'm gonna rub the glue off my fingers. We're gonna take the snow, the fake snow, and sprinkle that inside and kind of coat the inside of the ornament, like this. And so we're basically making like a little snowy nest for our little toys. So it'll look like that. We're gonna let that dry and then we'll do the next step. Now, depending on what you have around the house and how involved you want to get, this is the part where you can get really crafty. This is just a piece of cotton, like a cotton ball, and I'm just taking and stretching it out, and we can glue that right around the edge. That looks snowy. We could also take little pom-poms. I have some little pom-poms, and we could glue those around the edge. So I'm just gonna do a couple of different variations and you know like i said depending on what you guys have around the house or what you like you can get <laughs> as creative or you can just stop at this point and i'll show you how you can finish it just without adding anything else but i'm going to make a couple a little bit fancier so let's see we'll do this red one because the red will look really good with the white cotton and I'm just going to put some glue right around the edge. It doesn't have to look nice or pretty or anything because I'm gonna cover it up with cotton. I came up with this idea because growing up, one of my favorite ornaments on my Christmas tree was a nest and it was on a clip like this and the nest had a little bird in it and I was just fascinated <laughs> by it when I was a little girl. And I thought, you know, when I, when I did the Shopkins video for the ornaments and I had all these leftover ornaments, I thought, wow, what can I do with those? And this is what I came up with. So I thought, you know what, we could make a little nest for some of our favorite little toys. This kind of looks like an upside down Santa hat. 
Okay, so now we have a nice little snowy <laughs> layer around the outside. And we're gonna take some more cotton and pull it apart like this. And we'll drop that right inside the ornament and add some more fake snow. And we can make this a little home for Gingerfred. How about for Gingerfred and one of our little LPS friends? And the thing that I thought would be really cute about this, if you guys make these at home and you put them on your tree, you can change them all the time. Cause you can just switch them out and put different little toys in whenever you want to. I think for this one, we'll try adding some pom-poms. This might work better with the glue gun, I'm thinking. <laughs> it's gonna take a minute for that one to dry and there's a lot that we need to add. These are very heavy. Let's see, maybe if we do it this way. Okay, this should be nice and dry now. Didn't that one turn out so cool? I did have to go back and add a lot of glue and it had to sit and dry for a while. So if you do the pom-poms, I would just use the glue gun. Okay, so now we'll add some snow. And hmm, who wants to live in this beautiful ornament? Let's see here. Got some different choices. Oh, you know what we could do? So this is kind of fun. I found these in a little craft shop, the little Christmas tree and these teeny tiny ornaments. Let's add some of these to this one. And hmm, let's see, we'll put a little Shopkins in here and maybe a little <laughs> Lala Loopsie. Ooh, that one is full. I think that looks pretty cute. Okay, I'm going to use the little tiny presents to decorate the edge of this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the glue gun. I don't know if I would need it. Could probably just use the regular craft glue, but just in case, I'll use this. So you'll definitely need a parent's help. Glue guns are really, really hot. It's very easy to burn yourself with them, so this is not something that you should do without an adult. Okay, I covered this one almost completely in snowflakes. And I did it for a special reason. I did it because I have a tall pony there and I thought it would look cool if she had kind of, you know, some walls around her. Let's put some more snow in there. <laughs> there. Can you see her? She's kind of tucked away now. So you could do this. You could put something tall around it if you wanted to do a larger toy. And for those of you that like to keep it simple, you can just attach a little piece of ribbon. Or you could add stickers and then just fill your ornament with snow or really whatever. I mean, you could add anything to it. You could add cotton 
or you could add the shredded paper that you can buy for gift bags. <laughs> and then you just add your little toys. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, you can let me know by clicking on the thumbs up button. And I would love it if you'd leave me a comment and tell me which ornament was your favorite. My favorite one was the one with the glittery little pom-poms. I don't know, it's hard. I like the presents one too, but I think they're all cute. Can't wait to hear which one you guys like best. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DCTC. We do toy reviews. DCTC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>